On Capitol Hill, congressional Democrats are urging President Trump to take action on gun control at the same time as they widen an impeachment investigation. Democratic leaders want the president to get Senate Republicans to vote on a House-passed bill to expand background checks for gun purchases. A new poll shows 83 percent of Americans support comprehensive background checks. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, any hope that there might be movement on this? Well, Democrats are certainly making a full court press, Anthony. They're holding news conferences and hearings and sending a letter to the president urging him to put more pressure on his own party. But even the president has backed off of his early calls for much stronger background checks. Two people in Washington can make sure the background checks bill passes. <clears throat> Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell. After a series of deadly mass shootings, Democrats are calling for the president's urgent personal intervention to reduce gun violence. What courage does it take to support legislation that will save lives? They are pushing him and Senate Republicans to back H.R. 8, the House-passed bill that would close the loophole that allows private gun sellers and online sellers to evade existing background check requirements. The bill might have prevented a suspect in Odessa, Texas, from getting a gun that killed seven people last month. Urgency in the On the campaign trail, eight of the top Democratic presidential candidates appeared in a video launched by former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. We have to act in a bold way. Save thousands of lives. This will be a moment of determination. But Republicans say they won't vote on anything that doesn't have the president's backing. We have to protect our Second Amendment very strongly, and we will always do that. Democrats are also ramping up their impeachment inquiry. The House Judiciary Committee will vote Thursday to establish rules for impeachment related hearings. Maryland Democrat Jamie Raskin says the scope of the inquiry has widened to include government spending at the president's properties. This president has been collecting millions of dollars in payments at the hotels, the golf courses, the office tower and other business ventures without even reporting it to Congress. So that's intolerable to us. Democrats are going to be looking into the Air Force's use of an airport near the president's Turnberry Resort in Scotland. Stops by Air Force planes at nearby Prestwick Airport have increased. The Trump Organization and the airport made a deal back in 2014 to send air crews to the resort for a discounted rate. The president has denied knowing about the stops, and the Air Force now says the visits were allowable but may not have been advisable, Tony. All right, still a lot of questions, Nancy Forrest. Thank you very much.